Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to our demo room here in beautiful Mobile, Alabama. Unfortunately, we don't have the warehouse studio anymore. It got demolished to make room for more inventory, but that's not going to stop us here from bringing you the news that you need to know about new products that we're offering at Condi. So I'm happy to announce that Condi Systems is now carrying the Oki C831TS color laser printer, the TS standing for Transfer System. This is a tabloid size color laser printer that outputs in standard output four color process, which is your cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. What we're going to do today in this video is we're going to discuss the differences between this model and the previous model that we offered at Condi, which was Laser and Prints Go Uno. Once we've gone through the features and benefits of the system, I'm going to take you over to my computer to show how you're going to run most of your t-shirt transfer papers through this printer as we review the driver settings. And once we've cleared that hurdle, we're going to summarize the points that we've learned in today's video. So let's go ahead and discuss the features and functions of the Oki C831TS and explain what makes it different than its predecessor, the Laser and Prince Go Uno. The first thing that you're going to notice is that it does have a slightly smaller footprint which means it's going to take up less space on your desktop or your tabletop. You still have the cassette tray located at the bottom for running plain paper through the machine. Your multi-purpose tray is the fold-out tray in front of the printer. And of course the arm extends so that we can run 11 inch by 17 inch sheets straight through the printer. You'll notice here we have to lift this guide bar to load our paper into the feed position for the multi-purpose tray. Once we have paper loaded, we extend the guide bar down to lock the paper into position. So now that we've covered the tray, let's open up the front of the printer. A nice feature to the Oki C831TS is the easy access black replacement. Because black is the most common toner that you will run through whenever you're operating your color laser system. So replacing the black is fairly simple. We hit this button here to open up the top tray and you will notice our other process colors yellow, magenta, and cyan. Again, a standard four color process tabloid printer. But you will notice something different between this configuration and the standard configuration on a Laser Imprints Go Uno. The transfer belt is actually angled up instead of laying flat. Where this is going to help, it's going to help to feed the fuser assembly when it comes to paper. This should reduce paper jamming from a lot of transfer papers that you choose to use. Another nice feature on the Oki C831TS is the improved fuser assembly. It's going to run a little hotter than your standard printers and the Laser Imprints Go Uno, which means you're going to have an easier time bonding the toner to your transfer papers. Here are your four LED print heads, which power the unit. So as you can see, there are some similarities to the Laser Imprints Go Uno, but a slightly different feed configuration to make feeding transfer paper easier. Some other nice features of this unit is that the fuser assembly, being more heavy duty, warms up in 30% less time than the Laser Imprints Go Uno. Also, the power consumption has been reduced on this unit by up to 30%. Another avenue that has been reduced for you is the overall cost of operation. When you're comparing this unit to a Laser Imprints Go Uno, this unit should be 15% less expensive to operate. But it still has your standard four color process, your nice elevated feed from the transfer belt, and an improved fuser assembly. So we should expect greater performance from this machine. Now that I've gone over the basics, let's move to my computer so I can show you the driver settings to operate most papers through the unit. So here at the computer we have the Oki C831TS PostScript driver in front of us. Let's go over the basic functions of the driver. Like most Oki drivers, we have four tabs. Layout, paper quality, job options, and color. So let's start with the layout tab. On the layout tab, the only function that we might need to change is the orientation. We have the option of portrait or landscape depending on the orientation of our artwork upon the page. Once we've made that change, let's go to the Paper Quality tab. Whenever we're running t-shirt transfer paper through the Oki A31TS, we always want to make sure that our paper source is set to the multi-purpose tray. Now, of course, here we have the option of putting it in either monochrome or black and white mode or color mode. But let's go into the Advanced Features and let's get to the PostScript options. Here we can change our paper size, ranging from letter to tabloid, 
as well as all the European designation size papers. Here is our ICM color management or image color management. We can disable color management. We can have color management hosted by the system, which means from your graphic software, or we can have color management handled by the printer. As far as our image color management intent, we're mainly going to deal with pictures if we're reproducing a photograph, or graphics if we're dealing with a line art, clip art, or vector art design. Here, some things that we might want to change in order to increase efficiency. Check paper in any other tray. Let's make sure to turn that off because we don't want to switch from the multi-purpose tray if we're running t-shirt transfer paper. As far as this option to check paper in the multi-purpose tray, let's leave that off as well. That's what we call a media check feature. Since we know we're running transfer paper through the machine, it's really not necessary. The important setting here is the media type. So let's pull down this menu so we can explain in greater detail. You'll notice here, up at the top, we have all of our standard media weight settings, ranging from light to ultra heavy three. So in other words, this printer is capable of running a 256 gram per square meter media weight paper. We also have the option of feeding labels, glossy stock, and transparencies. But what makes the 831TS unique is the pre-programmed functions for transfer paper. As we'll notice here, they are designated by category. So all you have to do is select the category of the type paper you are operating and the Oki 831TS will handle the rest. For instance, we have two-step light transfer. This would be for running, for instance, the Nina Image Clip Laser Light. We have two-step dark transfer in case we're running Nina Image Clip Laser Dark. We have a one-step light transfer for running your standard solid film emulsion transfers, such as the Condi LaserFlex CL or the Nina Technoprint EZP. We do have a two-step film option. This would be if you want to tackle a new self-weeding dark garment paper, such as the Forever Low Temp. And then we have a one-step heavy. This would be for your opaquing materials, for instance, like Nina Laser One Opaque. As I said before, all we got to do is just name the general family of transfer paper that we're going to use, use one of the five pre-programmed settings, and the printer will handle the rest. Once you've made those changes, let's review the Job Options tab. Now under the Job Options tab, we have the ability to run the printer in normal resolution, which is 600 by 600 DPI, or fine detail which is 600 by 1200 DPI. My recommendation is if you're using a solid film transfer paper like Technoprint EZP or LaserFlex CL, you would want to run under normal resolution, which is 600 by 600 DPI. If you're using a self-weeding transfer paper, such as Nina Image Clip Laser Light, you want to bump up that resolution to 600 by 1200 DPI. Now here, we can also set the number of copies that we want to run. So we can produce one graphic or we can produce multiple graphics. Even when we slow the printer down and put it into a transfer paper mode, we can still produce tabloid size prints, which are 11 by 17 prints, at a rate of 8 to 10 transfers per minute. So even though the printer will be slowing down to run transfers, it's still going to output transfers at a pretty good clip. Under the color tab, we could go with automatic color correction, where everything is handled by the printer, or what I like to do is select the Graphic Pro option. We can go into the options page here where we can set an RGB or a CMYK color profile. We can also choose whether to use a true black, which is using just the black cartridge, or a composite black, which is mixing cyan, magenta, yellow, and black together to give you a deep, dark, rich black. So you definitely have the option there. Another nice feature of this driver is the toner saving feature. If we leave the toner saving off, that's the ultimate way we want to run t-shirt transfer paper. But if we're doing a mock-up or a sample, we can choose to reduce the amount of toner on the page. Therefore, printing invoices and stationery is just as easy as printing t-shirt transfers. So now that we've covered the basics of the driver, let's go ahead and summarize what we've learned in today's video. So here's what you need to know about the Oki C831TS transfer system. 
Like the Laser in Prinsco Uno, it is a standard four color process printer, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It is a tabloid printer, meaning it prints 11 inch by 17 inch, just like the Laser in Prinsco Uno. But Oki has made some slight modifications to the printer that should enhance the performance of the unit, especially having those pre-programmed functions in for your basic families of transfer paper. Another nice thing about this unit is, unlike the Laser in Prinsco Uno, which was marketed as a third party unit, this unit is being offered direct from Oki Data, and it comes with a two-year on-site warranty, meaning should that anything with this unit go horribly, horribly wrong, Oki will send a technician out to your facility to repair the unit, and that warranty is a two-year on-site warranty, which is a big step in this industry. We really appreciate Oki coming to the forefront and launching a unit like this. Our recommendation for this unit is if you need to do transfers to your white or light colored cotton or cotton poly blend garments, or if you want to use this unit for doing hard surface transfer papers, we think it's an excellent unit. As far as running dark garment transfers to it, you can do it, but however, we recommend going with an Oki white toner system because of the advantages that the white toner delivers. So make sure to tune in to Condi TV for those videos if you need to get up to speed on the white toner system. But if you're looking for an alternate system to something that's already on the market, for instance, like the Sawgrass Chromoblast, we think this is a far better solution. It is toner based, meaning that the toners are not going to expire, unlike liquid inks. We can still go to all the products that a Chromoblast system can go to, but we can use the printer for more functions, such as office printing or presentation graphics. So we think this is a good solution. And at a manufacturer suggested retail price of $2,095, should be easily affordable by even the smallest of print shops. So we hope you enjoyed this presentation on the Oki C831TS. But remember, if you have any questions or you need additional information, don't hesitate to contact us direct at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. And make sure to tune in to Condi TV for more videos on the Oki C831TS. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up. I thank you for yours. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.